Hey me fans, welcome back to another episode. Fifi's back in the garage. So, I've got a plan. The next plan is to take the radius arms out, um, put new pins and bushes in, uh, do anything else that needs to be done um, at the same time. So I'm possibly thinking um, handbrake cables, um, the rubber hose, brake, rubber brake hoses, you know, do those sort of things, um, and anything else that needs to be done. So, um, yeah, just give the back end a tidy up. It's been a while since um, since it's been freshened up. So I think the radio arms that are in there are sort of were good used ones that went in. So um, it, that was a few years ago now. So it's always good to keep on top of these things, make sure that they're maintained and checked. So um, let's get in there and uh, have a look. Okay, I've jacked the car up, put it on the axle stands, taken off the wheels, so we're all ready to start stripping down. So let's start with the first side and get that all done. Right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this, this cable here, the brake cable. I'm going to take the pin out at the bottom, pull the pin out, release the cable, and then we can carry on with getting the rest of it apart. I don't think that was a split pin. That looks a bit old, but it's still usable. But we put new ones in. Right, so to release this off, we've just got to pull back. <laughs> Let's undo the uh, shock absorber nut. Right, next what I'm going to do is take the drum off and remove the brakes. I disconnect the brake hose um, from the top of the radius arm so that when we take the radius arm out it's already free to drop. Let's do that next. Right, now to stop this uh, dripping, I've got a little ball bearing and a straight connector. I'm just going to pop the ball bearing in there, screw that on there, and that'll temporarily block um, the brake hose from uh, leaking. Okay, so either end of the arm, you've got a three quarter inch bolt or a 19 mil if you want to be naughty um, I'm usually often naughty <laughs> um, there's one this end one on the inside of the subframe uh, 
trick is undo the one on the inside first because if you um, undo this one and you can't get, undo the other one you've got nothing to the pin can just spin so if you leave this one done up worst case scenario you can undo the bolts and take the bracket off with the the arm and then separate it later so I'm going to do the front one first and then I'll come back and do this one okay so I've undone the inside one I've just got to undo this one now Right, okay, so now we've got the two two big nuts done, either end of the pin. Um, we've got a couple of bolts underneath here and a couple like sort of um, top and bottom here. So we just need to undo those, that'll release this bracket um, and then we can literally just pull the arm out. We've got the donut and the arm here as well. Hopefully I, I won't have to need to adjust those and I might be able to just literally just pull it out, like sort of pull it this way and then um, it should just come straight out. Right, so there's the bracket loose. So obviously that goes on that way. So now hopefully we should be able to pull this arm out and off. And there we go. Right, so that's one Redis arm out. We've just got to remove the cable, poke that back through, do the hose, and we're um, all done on this side. We just need to repeat the same on the other side. So let's get on with that. Actually, one side's the same as the other. I think well, I won't bother recording the, uh, the second side. We'll, um, I'll just do that side off camera and then um, you know, we can get on with just stripping the uh, radius arms down. Right, okay, now we've got both these arms removed. Um, I'm just going to finish strip down so we've just got the arms to play with. It'll just make things a lot easier for when we replace these pins. So I'm going to take the hub, rear hub off, take the back plate off, and then that should leave us with pretty much mostly the arm. Then we can try uh, getting this pin out and see what state that pin looks like. So let's get on with that. Right now this should come off. There we go. Brilliant. So what I'll do later on is I'll rub that all down and probably give it a nice fresh coat of paint before we put it back on. Okay, I'm gonna leave the quadrant on for now. 
just because obviously I just wanted to make it so that I can get to this pin easier. So next step is obviously to get this pin out. Um, there should be a rubber and a washer, both ends. So there's one, two. Oh, that one's that one needs changing, definitely, doesn't it? Right, so this pin should slide out. Right, there we go. That's out. Let's put a rag on that, give it a clean, and have a look at how good it is. Right, so there we are. Let's um, get you a bit closer. So, as you can see here, we've got a definite step. So that's where the rollers would have been. Clearly, I've not been um, greasing it as often as I should. But then, to be fair, I don't know how much wear was on this arm before it went in. So. The other end looks pretty clear. It's quite interesting that the end that doesn't get the grease, or you don't think gets the grease, is clean, but the outer one, but then that, I suppose that'll be, because that's where the water falls on that end of the radius arm, this end is protected because it's in the subframe. So, uh, good job of replacing them, isn't it? But clearly that's, that's the way it was it was sitting because you can see which, where the arms we've gone up and down on there if I rotate it there's no step but we've got a step there if you can make it out that is the grease hole <laughs> so it could have been that it was blocked we don't know but it's clearly blocked now so there's the hole if I get a bit of wire poke it in the hole. Oh no, we're okay. So it was... It was getting grease. Okay, probably down to me then. I maybe wasn't greasing as often as enough as I should be. Okay, so this is the pin from the other side. So this is the passenger side. So this is the passenger side pin it got stuck coming out, which obviously you can see why. There's a lot of rust here. This side, again, is must have been the... Yeah, see, there's the... Yeah, okay, so yeah, so this this side is the inner side. Obviously not too bad. There is a bit of rust here. Um, but yeah, wow. I was not expecting all this. You know, I couldn't tell you how long ago and how good they were when they went in. Um, but yeah, it's obviously... It's a good job with changing these, isn't it? You know, I knew they needed doing. It's a task, obviously, that I've not been putting off, but should have done a while ago, maybe. Um, but yeah, obviously, the the, the plastic um, was stuck to this. So trying to get it out, I've had to hammer, as you can see, hammer the end very hard, backwards and forwards, to get it out. Obviously, this wasn't going to be going back in anyway, whatever. But um, yeah, so we've got this out. We just need to um, now put the new pins in.